Hi everyone. So we start with this job here. Um, classic story. The client calls you saying, mate, my garage floor doesn't look great. Can we do something with it? Well, as you see here, we've got existing epoxy topping laid on the floor by the builder a long time ago and it's just peeling and delaminating. So what are we going to do? We're going to rip the floor with the PCDs, the special diamonds that can really dig into the um, toppings and, and as you see it creates really deep grooves just in order to get in the paint, get in the topping and rip it through all the way to the concrete. So that's the initial grind just to get it get it off the floor. I mean it's pretty thick. We're talking about two, three, four mil on some spots. So that's why I'm choosing these heavy, heavy guns. These PCDs, it's a must to have if you want to really get through all these coatings. Otherwise you'll be there grinding for days and you wouldn't have much luck. I mean the diamonds wouldn't wouldn't have enough depth to grind through the topping. So that's why I've chose these PCDs and we can we can accomplish this in one day. Well the challenging part with these diamonds is that you don't want to use this on a soft concrete because they will disappear in front of your eyes. So as usual the, the coating or the topping is hard and the and the concrete underneath is super soft. So you wanna find a medium where you just get through the topping and then the rest you cut with your proper diamond. So what we see here is I already done the initial cut with after the PCDs. These are my 30 diamonds, doubles, um, for soft concrete, and they just done an excellent job. Our next nice challenge is any... to dress up the edges. So this is how it looks after the grinder have done his job, the big grinder. So now we need to get a small hand grinder. It could be Makita, it could be many different brands. I just like Makita, variable speed, and you can, you can play with the speed as you need. Put a good shroud on it, so eliminate airborne dust and dust overall. And again, using the same diamonds on the, the, the hand tool as you would on the big machine, always follow up with the same diamonds. So we've cut it with 30s. Now we're gonna do 30s on the edges, there you see. Nicely dressed up edge, ready after 30, and that's where we're heading. So after all it's done, then we can progress into the following diamonds after 30. We're going 60 diamonds, they're right there. 60 diamonds will, will create the less scratch pattern again and get the floor ready for grouting. This is the grouting mix. That's how we're going to do. So basically what it does, it fills up all the holes and pinholes, are pulled rocks, cracks, any of imperfections in the floor, you're going to fill with the grout. In basic terms, that's mixed up concrete dust with some polymers, bit of water. Um, I like to add a few more things to it to make it stronger and harder. We'll get back to it um, later. Um, yeah, just wet up the floor and apply with the trowel and push it all in the holes. As you see, the floor just gets nice and flat. The pinholes are filled in and then we, we just let it dry in. We cut it off again to create a good surface for the coating, for a new coating. So it's just gonna take your time. You can do it again, you can do it by hand or you can do it under the machine. I'm just going to show you the hand application here. Obviously big cracks in the floor as, as always with the concrete floors. We're gonna fill that in so after we're done you won't see them no more. So we let to dry the grout overnight ideal so it's a beautiful morning here in Australia and that's how it looks when the grout dries up nice and solid so now the next step is again to grind it all off to expose the nice nice concrete again because we're putting uh, epoxy coating on top we're gonna use 60 grit diamonds so it's not too so I mean it's not too smooth and not too rough so let's get to it and now here it is after grinding all the grout off we're left with just lovely concrete scratch pattern is great you don't see any heavy scratches all the pinholes are filled in the crack can you see the crack that's the successful crack filling where you can't even notice how good is that right and that's the combination of using the the concrete dust 
with the polymers. So it just blends in with your concrete. It's the same thing. And again, you're going to do the edges. Don't forget the edges. So 60 diamonds on the edges. Do nice and clean. Spot on. Remember the, the big crack I showed you before? Here it is. It's filled in. Okay, this is the important part. People don't realize how much dust you end up with grinding concrete floor. So I've got about two, four, six, this six or five concrete bags. Each probably 25, 30 kilos heavy. So we're gonna dispose that in the rubbish. Um, and yeah, let's, let's take the rubbish now. All good, gone. And here is our final day, the reveal day. <clears throat> so we applied two coats of industrial clear epoxy on the floor, which is excellent for stains, acids, any type of spill. It just resists, it's so good. Very hard wearing. Semi-gloss to gloss finish. And I'm trying to find the, you remember the big crack I am keep on pointing out? So I'm trying to look for it, here it is. Look at that. That's a pretty good match. Um, so I'm happy with that. The rocks look good in the floor, which there wasn't the main thing to to reveal in this in the, on this job, but yeah. The rocks look good, the floor looks great, it looks all one, and happy customers, happy days. Thank you for watching.